Hello and welcome back to our series on Angular tutorial for beginners. In my previous video, we have already discussed what are pipes, why there is even a requirement for a pipe, and what pipes Angular provides by default. I strongly recommend to watch that video if you haven't. This is part 2 of our last video in the series. Let's begin. Sometimes built-in pipes are not sufficient for data formatting. In this video, we will learn to create custom pipes in Angular. In the last video, I created this table for student's data out of an array of JSON objects. It has the details of a student like ID, name, class, DOB, fees. We tried several built-in pipes like uppercase, lowercase, date, slice, decimal, etc. on the data present in this table. Now consider a case you need to prefix salutation before the name of the student. By salutation, I mean Mr. or Miss. So the use case is if the gender is 1, which means boy, prefix Mr. to the student name. If the gender is 0, which means girl, prefix Miss to the student name. I hope the problem statement is clear. Angular doesn't provide any predefined pipe for our requirement and therefore we will have to create our own custom pipe for this requirement. We have two options now. Generate the pipe using Angular CLI. The command is very simple. ng generate pipe then the name of the pipe or create the pipe manually let's first go with the second approach that is creating manually so that i can give more details about the pipes so let's go to the code editor now create a file name it prefix solution.pipe.ts file name is according to angular conventions Angular pipe is actually a simple class which is decorated by at the rate pipe decorator. So first create a simple class, name it prefix solutation pipe. And you also need to import the pipe decorator from Angular core. You also need to give a name to the pipe. In my case, it is prefix salutation in camel keys. The logic for the pipe is contained inside a method called transform, like as follows. And to use transform pipe, we will have to first import transform pipe from Angular core like as follows. Here the value is the field mentioned before the pipe symbol that is bar in the code on which we are applying the pipe. Now this is a working pipe. Let's use it in the HTML file now. Open the browser to see the result. It has displayed everything as it is. Till now our pipe is not doing anything. We haven't written the logic for this. Open the editor and write the logic in the pipe to transform the name. Go inside the transform method and check if gender is 1. If it is 1, add Mr. otherwise Miss. Like as follows. Go back to the browser and see the result. Now it has transformed the names. This is what we are expecting. Generating a pipe through Angular CLI is a homework for you guys. Try it and ask for the problems in the comment box. Creating a pipe is very simple in Angular. We just decorate a class with the at the rate decorator, provide a name and a transform function and we are done. 
that is all about creating custom pipes now try to do the same in your code stay tuned for the next videos and thanks for listening